You joining me now is Congressman Jake LaTurner. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Yeah, good to have you here. Now, let's start with um, U.S. inflation. It's jumped 8.5% in the past year, so it's the highest since 1981. What is Congress doing to bring that down for Kansans? Well, to, to bring it back down, we have to understand what caused it in the first place, and it's a couple things. One, uh, the Biden administration and uh, the Democrats in Congress have pumped nearly $2 trillion into the economy. Uh, the supply chain has been squeezed. The oil and gas sector has been squeezed. People are seeing this at the pump. They're seeing it at the grocery store. Um, it is a major issue that is costing Kansans real money every single day. We have to stop spending more money than we bring in in this country. Uh, and that is a first step. We'll go a long way to solving the problem. Definitely. Um, now, switching gears to Title 42, President Biden has lifted Title 42. Now, for those viewers who may not know, explain what exactly Title 42 is. Title 42 was a tool that the Border Patrol had to expel people from the country based on health reasons, COVID. Mm -hmm. And it was, uh, it was the only thing that they really had in their, in their toolkit to send people back across the border. Uh, and now they don't have that anymore. And just to give you an example of how this is going to impact when it expires at the end of this month, just last month, the numbers came out yesterday, there were over 220,000 uh, uh, immigrants caught at the border by the Border Patrol. That's over a 500% increase from the same month last year. This is a major issue that we have to deal with in this country, and it's common sense. We need to build the border wall. We need to give the Border Patrol the tools that they need to do their job. And this administration is knowingly not doing that. It's not a partisan issue. This is a common sense issue. Yeah, and you've actually been a member of the Homeland Security Committee and have been working on this for the past couple of weeks. So what has your experience been like and what impact will this lift have on the southern border? Well, I've been to the border uh, and as a member of the Homeland Security Committee, this is an issue that we look at constantly. We have every right as a nation to secure our southern border. The Border Patrol has been asked to do jobs that they were never trained to do. These men and women are brave law enforcement officers, and we're asking them to be social workers and healthcare workers and all the rest. And this administration's rhetoric and their policies have greatly increased the humanitarian crisis at the southern border. You have families, you have young children, unaccompanied minors that are in a terrible position right now, that are being put in harm's way by the drug cartels who've never had more money. The drug cartels are shipping record amounts of drugs into this country. They're getting paid uh, for the human trafficking. And I am not gonna be a part of enriching the drug cartels in, in Mexico. And that's what this policy is doing. Yeah, switching gears, the mask mandate was lifted for public transportation. But it's it's about time. Yeah, but the yeah. Department of Justice, they could appeal this. So what are your thoughts on this whole situation? This is something that has been long overdue. Um, as somebody that flies uh, back to Kansas every single week, um, I'm personally happy about this. I know that travelers across this country are. Um, and look, follow the science is something that we, uh, we hear a lot. It's something we should be doing. The people wearing cloth masks, uh, uh, it wasn't doing hardly anything on these planes to start with. Um, the mask mandate was for show. And so it was high time that it was repealed, allow people to get back to normal and start opening this country up again. It's part of the reason um, that we have the inflation is that the economy still isn't where it needs to be. And mandates from the federal government, whether it's mask or otherwise, need to be repealed and get people back to work and get inflation back down. Okay, Congressman Laterno, that's all the time we have this morning. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me.